Good morning everyone. Uh, this time I just decided not to put my face on it. I have something more interesting for you guys. We are at Overland Expo's Flagstaff West 2022 with all these great vendors up here showing their finest Overland equipment. This is, if I'm not mistaken, it's a... Let me go just for a time. The plans are really hard to guess from perhaps a there you go sprinter but with a different RV maker and that one is Tranquility which is one of my favorite ones those are finally made my focus on this one is going to be the pricing how it's going to be changed for 2022 when nature's call <laughs> Here is an adapter you can just refill your little bottles. Those green bottles one time I was gonna buy. This is a very cool product and I really like that. <laughs> Ethan, I gotta call my, my son. Ethan, I'm right here. All right, yes. Uh, what's the Overland Expo without uh, Expedition Global Vehicles? Like half a million dollars more expensive probably than our houses from license plate from Montana. Very beautiful field, very nice field. They, look, they also use uh, ARB LED lights, but just the branding change. Those are ARB lights on it moving on basically this is gorgeous you gotta see this in person <laughs> hello there how are you doing I'm eric from overland by eric only have one question does the pricing gonna change for next year or is gonna my my focus is going to be the pricing on this one and uh, i would like to see that if any of those pricing is going to be changed for next. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you doing? Uh, I, I'm Eric from Overland Boy Eric. Here's some of my stickers, gentlemen. Good, thanks. Thank you. Uh, I only have one question for my channel. Pricing is going to be same for most of the products or regarding what's going on around us is going to be changed for next year? Um, for the most part, I mean, you know, the, uh, the supply chain and the, the commodities are a little bit in flux and fluctuation. Overall, we're trying to keep prices very competitive. We are trying. That's important. You're, you know, fans. I'm a fan of Fox, Fox uh, Shock. So pretty much, I hope that it's going to be safe. Thank you very much. See you guys later. Ethan, move. Really good product. 23 and zero. This is one of my favorite ones. Hello there, how are you? I'm Eric from Orlando by Eric. Just have one question. Is pricing going to stay same for next year or are you guys going to change any pricing? Um, we're probably going to see some price increases this Pre time. Because of everything is going on. Uh, yep. Thank you very much. Here's my sticker. Awesome. I appreciate Thank you, it. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah, 23 and 0 is one of the best uh, maids in the market. That's a Ripstop uh, GSM 500 probably with a very nice flexible rods. It's a very good product. Uh, check it out. Uh, online if you uh, get a chance so Ethan let's go this way beach fire so this is pretty cool if I find someone to introduce us basically you can connect your grill to your uh, tow hitch and 
here is what you got uh, for grilling, so complete set on the grill. So thank you very much. Sir, uh, are you from Hitchfire? Yes. Yes, I am. Would you give us a... I'm Eric from Orland by Eric. Okay. Uh, I do product review. Okay. And I never came across this one. Would you give us a quick sure. uh, you know, introduction yeah. to your product? Ready? Please. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, so this is the Hitchfire F20 grill. It's 20,000 BTUs and it mounts to a swing arm into your trailer hitch. So as you go down the road, the grill and everything stays attached to your vehicle. And when you're finished, you simply fold it up, and then the hood locks everything down so it doesn't rattle. So it's designed nice. to be on the road with you. Nice. And what is the, the so table this is a cutting board cutting side board, table. I'm Very sorry. sturdy cutting board side table. Nice. And we have other accessories, such as the ledge over here. Once you buy the grill, then you've got the swing arm. And we're making more down, down the way here. Oh, yes. Thank you. No, I got it. Thank you. And then uh, the ledge also. Well, what is that? Come on over. Let's take let's, a walk. Let's take a walk there. Okay, so maybe you don't you don't want to use our barbecue. Maybe you have a Traeger that you like to use or a little camp stove like this. The ledge allows you to add space to your vehicle. The side rails can come off. So it's a flat surface. Maybe you've got your cooler or a big Yeti or from the picture here, your water jugs or firewood. Everything lives on the ledge and it stays attached to your vehicle. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the idea because, for example, for my Jeep, I ran out of place and I don't really bring bicycle or anything. Sure. This is a very good idea. My my hitch is empty because I don't carry trailer. It becomes an anchor at the end every time I go somewhere. I love this idea. You get the cl uh, ground clearance on this thing. It's pretty high. It's like, pretty high. Yeah, you're not going to have any problem with And that. you can buy adapters to raise it up even higher. Absolutely, right? yes. And for other Jeep owners, we have, uh, you see, this is a driver's side swing out. Yeah. Yes, uh, I, I mean, have this one and have this uh, microphone. Which you, you want me to attach Sorry. it? Yeah. No, just hold it, that's good. So it can either swing out on the driver's side or the passenger side. And for most Jeep owners, they want it to swing out on the driver's side. That's true. Open up. Yes, you create your own kitchen right there. That's awesome. I love it. Thank you very much. You bet. Okay. Catch up with you guys. Thank you. Keep in touch. You Thank bet. you. Bye bye. Thank you, guys. You can move. Okay, so Yeah, the, the box, if you open the door, it's all concealed. And you cap uh, very quick. Oh, here's the people I want to see. Hello there. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm Eric from Overland by Eric. I'm going to leave this with you guys. Would you just give us an introduction to your product a little bit? I know it's a break, but is this perfect? Oh, I'm sorry. Just... I hooked it up too high. Uh... I got the wireless one, Movo. I didn't like it, so I'm waiting for DJI to come on. So that's easier to handle this kind of situation. Movo, I just tried once and it become disaster. So. All right, here, that's for you. <laughs> Let's try it again. So what do you think, introduce your product yourself? I'm Eric from Orland by Eric, I'm sorry. That's my sticker. Uh, my name is Reed. I'm the sales manager for Petters USA. We're an Australian company. We've been around for over 70 years. Um, we do a lot of different uh, suspension parts for different vehicles. Toyota Tacoma, Tundra, um, Ford Ranger, and uh, the other very Jeep, uh, JK, JL, that, that sort of thing. Um, really great suspension parts that are, are uniquely engineered. Um, we do a lot of our engin engineering in Australia. Um, and we also do uh, some specialized brake parts. <laughs> to have a comparison between the size of these uh, shocks and its coilovers and my bottle, so, water bottle, it's, it, those are beefy. Yeah, uh, do, a little definitely. bit about the brakes. I'm running out of brakes, so I need to look some. Uh, what's the brake? Uh, what so is this speed here? This is a brake upgrade for a Ford Ranger um, that we actually have it on our Ford Ranger our, our demo vehicle here. Um, basically, it's, it's to, uh, with increased uh, carrying load, gives you a lot of extra stopping power. That's what it's designed Absolutely. For. I, I do know about that as a personal experience because my JK has 37s and I have a hard time stopping it. Mm -hmm. So, um, something I'm looking into. Do you have for JK too? We do not. not we do not. Yeah, yeah. Dynatrax is one of my ideas, but this is a great product. I ask this from everybody from what's going on right now in the market. Are you guys planning it? 
price increase for next year or are we going to stay same? Hopefully. Um, it just, just as the market goes. Yeah, it just would be based off, you know, how Unknown. the market, markets are changing of, all yeah, the time. So. A lot of vendors gave me the same answer. Yeah. Unknown for at, at yeah. this now. If you guys want to buy it, buy it now. It might go up. So thank you very much. I'll, thank I'll, you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll take Thank right, you very thank much. You. Have a good day. You too. Oh, water filtration. Hi there, how are you doing guys? I'm good, how are I'm you? Eric from Orlando Boy. Eric, I listen on part with you guys. I do product reviews usually. Cool. And I always choose the good ones. I Thanks. don't bash people. So yeah. uh, can you just introduce yourself and tell me what we have here? Yes, I'm Kristen from Guzzle H2O. We have a portable water filtration and purification system. It's doing a carbon block filtration and uh, UV purification. Basically, you can drop the end into a stream or a lake and have drinking water. Is that okay to disclose the prices here, or can, can you tell us this unit how much it would cost? We uh, really love that part. The, oh, the retail price is eleven ninety five, mm -hmm. and for the stream, what we call the the stream. Oh, that's uh, the whole package, basically. Yes. Oh, uh, that's great. So uh, I don't remember how much and amount of money you spend on the bottles and you have to you know dispose it and all that mm -hmm. it cuts off all that problems it's very nice do you expect any price increase for next year or it's unknown uh, it's unknown at this time a, yeah. most of most of the vendors they don't know that yeah. answer but that's uh, buy as soon as possible guys it's going off <laughs> do you want to see it run uh, yes definitely here here is the uh, demo basically go ahead It's from all that, and it's a powerful pump. I can see that it just fills up very quick, and that's with clear water. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a good day, Ethan. Let's go next. Hi there. How are you doing, guys? Thank you. Uh, I need some. <laughs> it's a small little. Yeah. Hey, Zoe, down. This is Zoe, and she's very. Okay, can you just please introduce yourself and your product? Uh, what do we have here or either one? He'll do it. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm sorry I just <laughs> get it on my wireless mobile because it was hard. Oh, okay. Are you still tired? Of I hope you're getting this all on camera. Yes. That's, oh, that's the best. Good. They this love it. Good. Everybody <laughs> loves this part. Okay, let's just do it again. So. Hi, I'm Hi. Mike Musuko. I'm the product designer for Hyperpack. And uh, this is our first year at uh, Overland Expo. Um, we're sharing our whole new pro our product line of water storage. Water storage, excellent. Yeah, and we also have some smaller pocket Sorry. bottles. Like this is our Stow water bottle. It has a pop top with a valved opening on the inside. Excellent, yeah, one way valve. Super, super durable, perfect for like jacket pockets. Uh, for, when you're skiing, hiking, backpacking, quick day trips. Excellent. And when you're not, when you're done, it rolls up into nothing, so you're not carrying a rigid bottle bottle with you. Yes, uh, and right you, now yeah. it's my problem here. Yeah, yeah. My bottle is yeah. in my back pocket, yeah. and my backpack has, you know, camel bag. This is much better. So what is this one here? So if you are a rigid bottle fan, this is our recon bottle. The recon bottle is made with 50% uh, recycled material. And this is a, a Triton, a copolyester. Super durable. You cannot break this thing at all. Excellent. And this is a, it has a unique half twist cap. There's no mechanisms or buttons or fussy little bits that kind of collect crud and dirt. And it, in this position, it's closed. In this position, with a half twist, once oh, those little dots line up, yeah. now you can drink through. That's then, it. You don't need to take. That's all you need to do. And then for cleaning, you never have to take the cap off, right? For drinking, just rinse it. Drink through the cap. Um, the cap itself, like I said, has, doesn't really have any complex mechanisms. It just has this silicone valve, which pops off. You can pull it apart, put it in the dishwasher. That's dish really good. I have that problem with those yeah. complex ones all the time. And then, yeah, so we, and then again, to cinch it down, you just bring it all the way back around, and that's locked and closed. This is a TPU handle, mm -hmm. totally bomb proof. You can probably hang like 100 pounds on this thing. Nice. It will not break. And that comes in a variety of different colors, and then we have it in one liter. What do we have? 750 and one liter sizes. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's my uh, sticker. I'll take one of yours. Thank you very much. I appreciate cool. so you it. got more water. It's not even in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more. Okay. Yeah, there's more. Oh, there you go. Here. So Give in, us some. Yeah, in here. In here. This is our ex this is our expedition. This is a TPU layered nylon. 
uh, material, so it's super tough construction. Um, this features our camp top and our plug and play cap. The plug and play cap, you can just pop, whoops, pop there you that. go. That's uh, it pop it up easy, pop it over, and that's and got it's a, still full. Look, there's water yeah, in there. Yeah, this is a valve connector, and this is a standard connector that'll work with. Even if you want to hook up a regular drink tube to this thing and use it like a reservoir, you can do that. But you pop that guy in there, and then you've got the camp top, which works kind of like a beer top. You give it a single press. You know what? I like that better right now. Yeah. I have one here, but yeah. it's not that sanitizing. Yeah, that well, that's one thing that's kind of cool. People. You can actually put a bite valve on this thing, yeah. but the fact that it doesn't have any silicone on it doesn't collect dust and grime. That's right? better, yeah. So, so you can... And then you can lock right there. And then you can, that's where that, yeah. get, there's a water bowl for the dog over there. Yeah. <laughs> you can also lock it out so it doesn't you press. Can drink water. And then, she, she's thirsty. Yeah. Can you let her drink water? Yeah. yeah. And then you can lock it open too, pouring out. Oh, that, that's yeah, beautiful. So, I love that yeah. innovation up there. Yeah. Um, and um, okay. we have our two, three, three liter seekers. Mm -hmm. um, really good for like through hiking day trips. If you're going to be hydrating, you know, dehydrating up a meal like these guys next door to us, uh, cooking it, you can carry your water in one of these bags here. Beautiful. It's got a simple tethered cap on it so you don't lose the cap. We've got these frozen, and for overlanding rigs, uh, if you've got a refrigerator, you can freeze these things these in your... things like mine, you can, Yeah, you can freeze it in your, in your refrigerator, and then pop it in the cooler, and extend your ability to uh, keep more stuff cold. You just rotate this in and out of your freezer, and use these like ice blocks. Beautiful. I think that's everything. Uh, that, what's the price range, basically? Like, um, uh, the so, one, uh, the, our 6 and 10 liter Pioneer, this product here, and also the expedition are 52. Pretty good, yeah, yeah. Um, and that, yeah, we also have a 10 liter version as well. 10 liter version. Yeah, the so. Pioneer's a little bit different. There, it's got a flexible uh, reservoir on the inside, mm -hmm. and it has this exterior bag, which is good for abrasion resistance and also makes it really easy to carry. You see, it has these straps on the top mm -hmm. of it, which you cinch up tight. You can hang that from a tree, throw it over your shoulder, sure. carry it from campsite to your Beautiful. Uh, to the river or to a spigot, wherever you're collecting up water. And it's got that same top on it. Same thing. Same top. I love those ones. And it's, and it's, and it's, and then also, it comes with a filter adapter. Similar. So this one actually has a reservoir And we've also got a little, and then when you're done using it, there's a little pocket to keep all those accessories on the inside of it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this is like much more. Oh, is this? Yeah. Yeah. I have your yeah, so if you've got a filter setup well. that you like to use, yeah, it'll work with this and you can keep yeah, everything so in that little bag so it's all ready for you to it. Well, what's the anticipation of price change for next year? Because of everything going on, you guys be able to keep the price same or Probably it's about the same. Same. That's yeah. great. That's Hopefully. The, hopefully, I, mean, I know. Oil prices, hard to say. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's that kind of does dictate it. We're trying to make sure that we do Excellent. Thank you very uh, much. I appreciate it. Ethan, let's move to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. You like that curry? Right? Uh, what was it again? The the no, there's just tiny stuff, right? It's just like, I'm not following How old is your puppy? Five months old. So you'll see the It looks very playful and yellow lab? Yes, yellow lab. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. yeah. Green eyes, this is like... Yeah, she she had already like half of that jar and that cup. But we can we can stay there a little bit. I'll be back. Hi there, how are you doing? How's it going, I'm good, good. I'm Eric from Overland by Eric. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you, dude. Good, likewise. Would you just introduce yourself and your product here? Yeah, I sure. do product review all the time. Cool. I gotta just hold it. Yes, that's cool. good. What's up, guys? This is Pack Mule. Uh, we sell aluminum cargo carriers. Super, super lightweight, uh, but obviously super durable and never gonna rust or anything on you. Uh, Anti wobble, locks into your hitch. Uh, but like I said, super light, only weighs 40 pounds. It's really important, that part, because Absolutely, I know it yeah. personally. It's made out of 70% recycled aluminum. Uh, so Excellent. We're trying to do our part. 
uh, sustainability. We like going outside and making sure outside uh, stays there. It's solid. I'm shaking the entire uh, demo they put here and it just lifts the whole demo together. Right. Car anti -wobble. That, yes, anti-wobble. I wanted to show the viewer how anti-wobble it is. It's yeah. amazing product. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, do they are they able to find you at your website or? Yeah, you can find us at packmeal.com. Uh, like I said. Super sturdy. Yeah. Can hold up to 500 pounds with the 2x safety factor. Uh, really Excellent. Look at that uh, removable steps over there. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, this is my car. Thank, thank you. you so much. Have a good day. You, you too. Eat and move. Rugged. Oh, I know this brand. How are you doing today? Doing well. How are you? I'm Eric from Overland by Eric. You hold this that way. I can get you a better shot. So, would you introduce yourself and your products? See uh, what we got here. Thank yes. You. So, we're here at Overland Expo 2022. Um, rugged radios and we're out here you know spreading information on the GMRS radios right whether it be handheld or mobile uh, you know we've got our whole product line out here you know educating consumers and hopefully getting a whole bunch of our overlanders connected and to where they can be safe and have a good time out on the trails thank you so let, let me just add to this one I have ham uh, certification and uh -huh. I can't find people to use with me out there <laughs> yeah. so unless our, you know from the state guard we have friends huh? they do have it so give us more info even even state guard is considering go gmrs because i can't get people ham certified and our systems are too bulky and we have to sign up and it's hard to get so gmrs is the new thing that's why i'm excited to get more info for consumer that does it have any test involved the range and the pricing please yeah, so the nice thing about GMRS is it is a standardized frequency range from the FCC. Um, you do need a license for it. The FCC, I think it's like $35 for 10 years for you and your immediate family. But the best selling point for the GMRS is, just like you're saying, it's not complicated, it's super easy. You literally, you'll just grab your handheld, turn it on, go to the same channel, and then go out wheeling and have fun. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm more along the lines of I want to be out there having fun and less time trying to program a radio. <laughs> program so a radio. you just set it, forget it, and go have fun. Thank you very much. Here is my card. Please subscribe if you get a chance. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank have you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Ali, that's a great pleasure to Hi. meet you, Ali. I always follow oh, you. Really? you have a, yes, I'm Orland by Eric. Oh, okay. I always watch your video special when you do oh, chicken kebab so for the guys out yeah, there. Right. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, Ali, just give, you, give us an introduction to you or your channel, sure, what yeah. you do. Uh, I know you like for, for a while now, but for our audience. Right, we'll see you guys. Okay, bye. Ethan, get, get your camera ready. We'll take a picture with that. Okay, so give us an update what's going on here all right so what's up overland by eric uh i'm all with kate the jeep and yeah this is my rig it's been about three and a half years of just non-stop constant evolution breaking upgrading fixing and adventure um yeah we uh we recently did uh two more bypasses on it so it's got twin shocks <laughs> at each corner it's got an ls motor um we've trimmed down the interior a little bit in terms of some of the some of the gadgets we have, but we've kept the Garmin system, uh, the Overlander and the InReach, and then we have the Stinger off-road uh, head unit with a four camera system right now. Um, it's just been a really great build, and it's kind of at the place now where I'm really enjoying it. I have hot water now, <laughs> you know, the high camera has been great. It's amazing. How, how do you like your 400-runner four run, four uh, water jump? Yeah, so the, that one is plumbed to my hydro tank, which if we go to the rear bumper, follow me to the rear bumper real quick. That has hose that comes all the way down to a pump below the vehicle that comes out here with a switch right at the bumper. Nice. And then I can either plumb it just to use a, a standard nozzle, or I can plumb it into my kick-ass hot water system and then have a hot water shower. Beautiful. It's, I love it's it, Ali. It, it's always I follow your builds and how much you put in this it. industry. I, I really appreciate it. That was a great pleasure to meet you. If it's okay, Thank you so take much. a picture with yeah, you. Yeah, I would love to take Definitely. a picture. Ethan, can I have that phone, please? Uh, Thank you. Ethan, by the way, is doing a great job today. Yeah, it's Ethan, amazing dog sitting. And... Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, Here. Here, Ethan. Can you take a picture of us, please? Do I do it in front or? Yes. Uh, yeah. You can use the table if you want to put something down on. All right, thank you. Yes, it's it's a little bit live uh, camera right now. Okay, 
So yeah, I, I couldn't miss this chance. No, to I have a picture with Ali. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thank you, Ali. I appreciate right, it. Nice I gotta move. You, you too. And your Hopefully, name is Eric, yeah? yes, okay. yes. Nice to meet you, Eric. Yes, I was born in Iran. Oh, were you? I'm Iran. Yes. Do you speak Farsi? Yeah. Oh. 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 Madam Hamidor. Yeah, yeah. Somehow. Yeah, I'm like a street kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like right a on, brother. Well, I appreciate it. Likewise, Ali. Really thank you so you, much. Likewise. Hopefully, see you around. Zoe, yeah. I know you're tired. Your mommy didn't want to hold you, <laughs> so you're here with me. <laughs> okay. For the half hours, Ali. Thank you. So some representatives are really busy, so I'm not trying to bother them. This setup is from Ego, I believe, and Ego's setup is amazing. I, I see the field is very sturdy. It's a very nice field. This is more for van uh, applications. This is more for van applications. Oh my god, you gotta you got look at this one. Yeah, with, uh, with children or it's not? Yes, Zoya, I love you too. I got a little bit of a problem here, sorry. And the tent is faster. I hope that's all the reason, so I've got to say. Ethan, you're doing an awesome job. Thanks. Believe me, you're like super awesome job. Sorry, Zoe. I know you deviate. How are you doing, guys? I'm doing great. How are you yeah, doing? Good, good. I'm going to give you the microphone. My uh, wireless doesn't exist anymore. Mova didn't work well. Okay. okay. Would you just introduce yourself and tell us about your products, which I, I do know a little bit about it. Cool. I'm Dominic. I'm marketing manager for Deviate Off-Road. Um, we make a collection of exterior fabricated accessories mostly. So bumpers, side steps, uh, roof racks, <laughs> tire carriers, rear bumpers, yeah. we make A-pillar pod light mounts, we make um, over windshield pod light mounts, then we also have little accessories like these hood hold downs, um, we're coming out with D-rings, so those will be hitting the market Beautiful. soon, Beautiful. we actually have testing on those on Monday so that we can accurately weight rate them, and then we also make the fenders on this, side steps on this, this the front bumper, Yes, this is the Bronco, so new Bronco. Obviously, everybody knows about it already. Uh, nice and beautiful. Yep, and then we also make things like hoods and hard tops for the Jeeps. Definitely. Yeah, we got our start in the Jeep market, and we're starting to branch out now. So we've hit the Bronco pretty hard, and then we'll be releasing a bunch of Tacoma products soon as well. Excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Here's my card. I do product review on YouTube channel if you get a chance to... Uh, to follow us dv8 i love it i had a jk i was about to buy one but i sold the jk i bought an aev so it's all gotcha. right there. thank you very much dominic i appreciate it thank you okay we got a uh, request for vega band uh, okay we got a request for vega band we're gonna go find them uh, as soon as possible uh, let's get keep moving i'm sorry it's too uncut and live it, i'm dealing also with a little puppy and my young son is doing a really good job handling it. Uh, oh, this is something I gotta stop. This is like very personal. My my dead bubble got worse coming here. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm Eric from Overland Way. Eric, I got a JK and this is very personal. So I gotta stay here for, we are going live on YouTube. Uh, would you please introduce yourself and your products? I'm gonna just go over it a little bit quick. Okay. Ready, go ahead. I'm Eric from Rock Jock, and uh, we've got products from sway bars, control arms, sway steering. Bars. No. That's our steering for JK. No. Mm -hmm. It's TJ steering, JK steering, this is our modular steering. Beautiful. 
you, Ethan. You're doing okay, Ethan. So go ahead and tell me about. Uh, is this only for JK and Jill? This or is you? our JT stuff. JT, yeah, yes, JT. Very beefy, really this is for uh, Mojave. Is there uh, spaces for the Mojave and these spaces. control arm brackets, jump traction brackets? Beautiful and uh, control arms. These are our drawing joints, which you can use in any application. Just any control yeah. arms. Very nice. Very. Nice. I asked this from everybody. You guys uh, are anticipating any price change for next year? Considering what's going on in the world, our war. prices just went up uh, May 1st, so we had a little bit of a price increase. I don't know what the percentage was on it. You know, it all depends yeah. on the market. Yeah, you know, the price of steel still goes up, and you know price, we might we might have to get another price absolutely increase. Absolutely, because you buy stuff since to make the pandemic, stuff. we haven't had a price increase since years ago until just recently. We had a small price increase. In absolutely. Um, for my JK coming here. It's so weird. I have some areas that wobble, some not. It's an AEV lift, but it has all original components on the steering wheel. I'm ready to change. I spoke with some uh, vendors. What would you suggest as far as changing? Uh, so on the JK, we offer two different steering systems. Our correct link steering system is what we consider our one ton steering. It's what's on display here on this JL display. Oh, beautiful. This is on JL, yeah, but it's, yeah, kind but it's of the same. Similar. It's the same size Close, as this yeah. drag link and this tie rod here. The modular steering is our two and a half ton steering, which is on the table over there that you videoed. Yes, earlier those have that. cartridges that are removable, and you can flip them for high steer or standard steering. Um, so there's two options on the JK. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty much thinking about the high steer in this point. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. I leave another sticker with you. I do product yeah. reviews on channel. Uh, awesome. You guys have an email I can contact you. Do product you product reviews. You should you should get. So this is our brand new high steer kit for the JL. Uh huh. This is uh, we just released it a month ago at Easter Jeep Safari. It comes with both knuckles, tie rod, drag link, track bar. There's an integrated skid plate. Hydro assist mount here. Oh, that's we're gonna beautiful. Also, we're also going to sell it with a, um, a, a steering stabilizer bracket if you don't have hydraulic assist. It moves, the knuckles move the tie rod up three and a quarter inches. It moves the drag link up uh, two, and a, two and three quarter inches. And it's available for JK to do high steer, basically. No, for JL. We don't do it for the JK. This is brand new for the JL. Okay. Yeah. But that's very beautiful. And uh, most of your products is made in USA, if I'm not Correct, saying. correct. We have some stuff that's outsourced. Some of our forgings are outsourced yeah, uh, that, we don't, we, that we don't do in-house. But yeah. everything else we machine, like these bump stops, these adjustments, JL bump stops. We machine all this in house. In house. In our machine. Hey, thank shop. you very much. I you appreciate bet. it. See yeah, you around. Oh, this one. This is a beautiful FJ44 or 40. My bad. VTV uh, brush. You gotta see this one. It's, this is this is a beautiful build. This this thing is so different. I'm a big fan of Land Cruisers on this age of the. Lancaster products. So move back. Thank you. Look at the ARB breeder. It's right up here. That's very good. Cool. It has air lockers, most likely. Oh, I gotta stop here. Hi there. How are you doing, guys? I'm Eric from Overland by Eric. How's it gonna, going? Good, good. Uh, just in order to get good shot, can you hold yeah, on yeah, that yeah, uh, microphone, yeah. please? And uh, this. Uh, Art. I got rid of my mobile because it wasn't working. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Could you introduce yourself and tell us about your products, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm Mitch. I uh, work for Manfrey BTV. We sell mostly all Land Cruiser parts, uh, 40s, 60s, 80s, up into the 100s is, is uh, what we got. We uh, we also, a BTV is more of our shop side, so we do all restorations and uh, any custom work as well. And then Manifree is our parts side where we sell aftermarket parts, used parts, original parts, all that kind of stuff. So. Those brakes are beautiful. You, got, you guys also installed those brakes at yeah, yeah. center console. I yeah. did saw some tank like kind yeah, of things. Do, Would you give us? The long range tanks for them, for oh, the Land Cruisers that's as even well. Better, yeah. And the FJ Cruisers. So. Uh, mainly FJ Cruisers basically. Do yeah, yeah. For JK, yeah FJ. No, nope, all Toyota stuff. So that's what we specialize in. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. I do product review on channel to get a chance okay. to subscribe. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks.
BTV, remember this garage, gentlemen and ladies? It's beautiful. They, they do artwork, they don't do mechanic work. Oh. It's okay. You know, the lights are matching. BTP Garage, beautiful. Okay, I gotta stop with you guys. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm Eric from Overland by Eric. I do product reviews in my channel. So, only here. And then uh, I get rid of my uh, wireless side right there. Uh, absolutely, my pleasure. Okay, please. Um, yeah, so what you're seeing here is the uh, Frolly Sleep System. And basically, gives you mattress a lift. Um, Springs uh, allow the mattress um, to sit on the top and let the air underneath. So you get good airflow for ventilation and um, eliminate condensation moisture. And they're also very flexible uh, for comfort. Absolutely, it's one of the things that it's uh, we all deal with it is condensation in the morning, and this is a very good airflow underneath it. Uh, absolutely. Uh, is this product you guys make it here or it's made from? in Germany with the importer distributor? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, and get it directly from the factory. Oh, great, great. And, Do you speak uh, German? Yeah. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ich habe dort gewohnt, dort gewohnt für zwei und halbe Jahre. Ja, wo? Ja, äh, erste, äh, ich war um äh, Wien, mhm. Wien, Vienna. Austria? Ja, ja, ja. Ich studiere daheim mhm. und dann äh, für, für viele Monate für, für uh, with my brother, my brother mm -hmm. in in uh, Frankfurt. He's oh, he's okay. a programmer. So yeah, it's. So I'm uh, from Darmstadt, which is close to Frankfurt. Darmstadt. Yeah, I know Darmstadt. Ah, I traveled so there. Yes, right. yes, I do. I do that's, know there. It's a lot of military, uh, American world. military. Yeah, yeah exactly. Took a train all the way to downtown and Darmstadt. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Exactly. But, that's um, a small world. Yeah. Yeah, and um, so it's made in Germany. It's made in. Um, uh, Close to Bielefeld, uh, in a small town, it's a family uh, uh, operation. It's been around for 60 years, the company. Oh, yeah, that's and, great. Um, the different colors that you see are different firmnesses. Absolutely, you can just mix and match yeah, however you want. And softer then, for the shoulders, adding the red clips for the hips for yeah, lower back support. Absolutely, absolutely. So you guys are anticipating any price change? I ask this from everybody. For next year or um, no? No, we've held it steady. Uh, actually, the uh, euro exchange rate has been in our favor. But yeah, so <laughs> that it. kind of balances off the importing charges. Guys, now is the right time to buy this because the, the pricing is on your favor in this point. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Here is my sticker. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Sounds I'll leave great. you a couple okay. of them. Thank you so Super. much. Thank Talk you. Talk to you. Thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. Oh, I need to stop here. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm Eric from Overland by Eric Product Review. I build those, but it's not as good as this one. Would you give us an introduction to your product and what we have here? I, I give you the microphone. You, you want uh, to do with this here? Or? Yes, this one. Okay, so... Uh, Basically about your company. Okay, so we, Talus Expedition Gear is what we have here. And we are a company out of Boise. We upfit vehicles from the ground up. Um, so suspension right up to roof racks and everything in between. Um, we carry things uh, uh, such as these water ports here. Um, right in front of you there. There you have the 3.8 gallon um, water port, very portable, very manageable. Um, hook it to your vehicle or you can uh, have it portable. This one being the 8 gallon version. Um, carries a lot of water. In uh, sunshine, you've got the uh, ambient, so the temperature of the sun is going to heat this up and you can have a beautiful warm shower at the end of the day. Um, you can use it for drinking water um, and it will mount to most roof racks, comes with hardware to mount it uh, and uh, pumps up using, um, you can use it as a basic Schrader valve system so you can pump it up using a compressor, bicycle pump, uh, something like that. And so uh, very user friendly. Absolutely. And then uh, my question was, What's the price range on the eight gallon, three gallon, and five gallon you have? Okay, so the uh, the eight gallon one here, I believe uh, today is uh, the five forty. Uh, I believe on the price on this one, uh, the four gallon or three point eight gallon one is uh, two forty. Um, the, those are the ones we carry right now. Absolutely. Thank you very much. It's a great product. Uh, what was the name of the company again? One more time. My company uh, is called Talus Expedition Gear, based out of Idaho. Based on Idaho. Thank you very much, Talus. So I get down. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you very much.
Ethan, yeah. we gotta go back. So, so you know, with Ali take a picture, we left the so books. Can you go grab it? I'm gonna go with you. The books are, remember that Ali yeah. take a picture? With no, no, and that's, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. Straight, Straight up? Give me the Zoe, give me the Zoe. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. you gotta take your water now. Hey, take your water with you. Here, Zoe in her best behavior, <laughs> trying to get other dogs interested. <laughs> Zoe, come on, let's go. Hi, friend. <laughs> so, distraction by Zoe. <laughs> Yes. Good girl, Zoe. Okay, stay on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, outside. Sorry, cut to the chase. It's like, I'm pretty full considering it's a full camera, but I have maybe another little bit of front of just whether or not I can afford them. So, what's the low end of it? So, full size. What's the low end of it? Look at these over here. All right, we are Bear Adventures vehicle. Bear Adventures vehicle. Zoe. Zoe, move this way. Bear Adventures vehicles, they build a camper for top of your truck. Um, Here is infrared image. How much cooler is inside compared to outside of it? Pretty cool. Yes, Zoe. Yes, I love you, baby. We have, we have our puppy with us. <laughs> it's not behaving. Hi there, how are you how doing? Are you? I'm Eric from Overland by All Eric. Right. Could you <laughs> hey, Zoe. No. No, Zoe. Okay. Zoe, relax. No, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry about that. It's okay. Relax. Relax. You're good. You're a good girl. So it's okay. All right. So let's do that again. Yeah. All right. All right, so would you introduce yourself and your product, Bear Vehicles sure, Adventure? Sure, how are you? Uh, my name is Orlando Mastretta with Bear Adventure Vehicles. We're a uh, exclusive California distributor of Total Composites Technologies, which is this awesome camper shell. And we it can awesome. take the shell and sell it to you as a raw, empty shell. So oh, you okay. You can yourself. That's great, actually. That's a very cool idea. Uh, it's a really great idea because we have all this really clever DIY here. People That's really true. Want to do their own thing. I build my shower on the plate and my, my battery pack. It's awesome. Everything else. You know what you want, you have specific needs, and not the idea of what I need as well. So at Bear Adventure Vehicles, though, we can also upfit for you. Uh, this is a demonstration unit of a Toyota Tacoma model we did. Um, this has a Brazilian rosewood interior, it has a clean pull out there, uh, it has a closet. And, uh, yeah, so this is our first take on our uh, floor plan. Beautiful. I love the interior of this deal. Of there. So thank you very much. I appreciate all right, all right. it. Thank Here, you. Here's my <laughs> sticker. Overland by Eric. Please awesome. follow us to get a chance right to do over the uh, product reviews. Fantastic. So if something we can get together okay. again. Yeah, thank I you. That. I appreciate it. Thank Have you. a good day. So let's go. Yes, that's why you don't go over everybody, Zoe. No, that's for the director. Come on, they make movies. It's okay, you didn't find it? Did you go all the way back there? I did, you said that your dad has it. Oh, okay. That's fine. No, Zoe, you're not pulling for it. I'm sorry, yeah. I, I, I don't know what happened. That he's like the friendliest dog ever. He doesn't. Leash is kind of too long for that. Yeah, that's the shortest I can get for my dog. Hey, you guys, come on. Do you need a not so friendly friend? I said your dog is like, you know how many dogs we bring around? Like yeah. over 100. Like, and looking this too, I don't know it was my dog. In Labrador, which is your. Yeah. I just came to say, I'm, you know, I'm sorry that happened. And goes, she goes, like, your dog is... Like, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't even anticipate this dog to do anything. Is first she time, a puppy? She looks Yes! <laughs> first time I, I heard her barking, really, it's in yeah. three months. It's like, like, 
your dog. Anyways. Probably said I didn't like that dog's energy. Yeah. I, I didn't see what happened, but it was bad. <laughs> yes, we will. Let me just finish this thing. You can come over there. Just, just stay with her. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee and a hot shower, and then I'm happy. Like, depending on where you are, right? Like, you, you look, you step out, and you're looking at the forest. And you're looking at the forest. I'm sorry, is that okay? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. All right, this is inside Adrenaline Adventure, I guess. Oh, it's such a beautiful build day. The quality of this build is, is in a different level. And with a full espresso machine, the one I have at home is even smaller than this Regal. Alright, let's just go and talk to the camera. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm Eric from Overland by Eric. I'm just going to give you the microphone, that way I can give you a full shot. So would you give us some information about your build and your company? Thank you. Uh, this is a BAE truck, military. It's a civilian version, one of 50. One of the last ones made. Seven liter with an Allison transmission. Most of them came with a cat engine. So this was to Cummins as a civilian version. Yeah. Adrenaline Industries made a box for it that has a full bed and a dinette that can turn into a bed. It's got a full bathroom and shower, 90 gallon water tank, and two awnings, full solar on the roof so it can always be charged. I thought it was. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. It's a beautiful interior. Like the amount of care you put on the product choice and material choice, it's amazing. You know, I see the difference between same build. How much the price range for this kind of builds for, depending like what options you have? You know, the guys over there in the red shirt, they're the ones who built the truck. Yeah. You might want to talk to them about the prices and all that, but I agree, it's definitely really good prices. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is a very good build. I mean, I, was, I am in California State Guard. I'm teaching the drivers to drive LMTVs and big trucks and 1180s and whatnot. But this is different. Here is my card, basically my sticker you can use. I'm Overland by Eric. I do product reviews. This is very beautiful build. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Now I have to find my son. Yeah, I'm sorry to bear with me with this uncut footage. I just wanted to feel to be here as you're not. So that's why I didn't do any editing on this one. Ethan, follow me, please. Huh? Yes, yeah, sure. Did you drink some? Yeah. You're tired, I'm sorry. Let's, let's finish this up. Okay, teardrop trailers are also very common. Um, I'm not really uh, spending much time on that one. We up there? <laughs> but this one is different. We can get it down to anything you want. We just built, adjust the ton for it. We can build that ton to be for two bikes. Hi there, how are you doing? Oh, you are in a good spot there. <laughs> I'm Eric from Overland by Eric. That's my microphone. Sorry. From, from where, Eric? Overland by Eric. It's okay. a YouTube channel. I got you. And then, uh, would you just give us some information about your product? Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. I mean, you got a camera pointed at me. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know no, that. No, okay. no, you're, you're good here. Give me a second. Um, so you're looking at the Crafco Overland's first overlanding trailer here. Um, to take this for about 15,000 miles throughout Africa for four months. Um, couldn't find what I needed, so 
we develop this trailer. You can enclose the entire top here and make it full living quarters. We've got it set up so you can run four cots across here. You can put a king size bed, queen size bed, whatever you want. A motorcycle carrier on front. You can do two bikes or something of the sort there. We can, we can change that. And then all the goodies below. We got uh, awesome ARB 101 port fridge. We got a custom mill grill, 30 gallons of water. Uh, we got a fold out uh, sink. You can fold that uh, yeah, the sink out, do some shower, clean it, instant hot water. Up above you on the awning, uh, that can be when it's set down, that's the top of the trailer, so you charging while you're going down the road. And when it's set up like that, we've got 440 watts of solar power up there. And then underneath, we've got a 2,000 watt inverter, um, 240 amp hour battery, all Xantrax components. I noticed a, a great uh, quality build. Is this built in Australia or it's here? This is built in Sheridan, Wyoming. Beautiful. Uh, you guys know what you're doing. Manufacturing solutions and Craftco Overland. So. You guys are doing great job. Thank you. Oh, the thank reason you. it caught my eyes is really different than the other ones. You just open up like, you know, and then, and then it's uh, it's much more spacious than the little trailers. Yeah. Uh, and then it comes down to the smaller size when you're done. De definitely different, but tons of space. And then, like you said, compacts down very, very small. Uh, yeah. Thank you very it's, it's much. Exciting. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Here's the my. Please subscribe if you get a chance. Thank you so much. Have a good Thank day. And here is Zoe making friends. Thank you so much. It was Ethan is doing great job, but you guys are helping me too to to make my videos. I couldn't come here without it. Absolutely. I got you. You gave me one. Thank you. Here, I have one of my cars. Oh. Please subscribe if you like. It. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a great uh, trailer. The, the concept, the idea of making it smaller as you go down the road. But, uh, keep in mind, you need a big full-size truck to pull this one up. Uh, I don't think that... I don't think that small trucks or jeeps can do that. Zoe, get down, let's go. Zoe is also looking at the trailer. The feeling is it's pretty cool. It's the whole expo in outdoors instead of doing it in, in some sort of auditorium or that big uh, places indoor. Uh, so the whole thing is made outdoor. Most of the products is made in America for our landing. And uh, that gives me an assurance that it's gonna be quality. This is the product I have, and I still put it for review. I got 4,000 reviews on that one. I'm Eric from World and Bayer. Can you introduce yourself and the medic for people in case they don't know us? So we're not with the medic? Oh, I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're a distributor? We're a distributor. Okay. Yeah. This is Nomadic Fluence. Okay, would you give us an info about your company then? Um, sure, yeah, we sell all, all things um, electrical for Sprinter vans such as Victron, Blue Sea, um, Dometic air conditioners, CFX units. We have our own air conditioners, 12 volt, 24, 48 volt. Um, yeah, we're, we're mainly geared towards um, mainly Sprinter vans and ProMaster, stuff like that. Absolutely. So if you want to equip your van, this is the right place to go. Could you repeat the company's name? No, nomadic Cooling. Nomadic Cooling. Thank you very much. Here's my sticker. Uh, if you can have a chance to follow and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys. Zoe, that's not very you Ethan John, make sure she doesn't go there. Zoe. Ethan. Ethan, put that down, daddy. Come on. I really need you. Yes, yes, yes. 
uh, full battery management system. If you get any builds for now, just get the Livium or Anti-Gravity brand. Those are, those are really good places to go. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm good, Eric from Overland by Eric's YouTube channel. Would you give us an introduction about yourself and your company? Yeah. What, what kind of products we have here? Sure, let me get this untangled here. Thank you. Yeah, I, I had a wireless, it didn't work, so you had to okay. return it. Just take all the things, that's it. Hi, this is Kyle with Radflow Suspension. We're out here at Overland Expo. Uh, we've got our new Bronco shocks on display as well as on Bronco behind us. And yeah, showing off all of our shocks. Beautiful. So it's important that the new products like Bronco has aftermarket product like you guys do. So that's good to know. Absolutely. And this is all made in America. Yeah, all 100% right. made in the US. We have a facility in Fountain Valley, California, where we machine and build no, all the shop. Near me. Yeah, I'm going to get a ton on the basically. Yeah, that's very cool. Thank you very much. Here's, here's my sticker. Thank you very Thank much. You. I'll I appreciate give you one of my cards as well. Yeah, absolutely. Keep in touch. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thank have you. Have a good day. You too. Have a good one. Thank Thank you. Let's go, Zoe. All right, if you don't want to put one of those big privacy tents on the side of your vehicle, this is a very good replacement. A lot of overlanders, they had the issue with uh, how are we gonna, how are we gonna, you know, do it. Then the nature calls to the business. Here is how you do it. I love you too, Zoe, but it's, it's work, baby. We were, we were leaving the Overland Expo and had an accident. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. And I could have. Oh, look, you can see. This, this is a person actually using that, like pretending using that, that privacy thing. Pretty cool, very cool. I've been here for a while. I got to Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna get one of your uh, business cards. Thank you. Okay, you know, let's do that introduction. See some here. Okay. Here, I'm Eric from Overland by Eric. Tell me about your products and uh, how is. Um, hold on. Well, he's better because he is the inventor. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, so. Here is my card. Thank you. Oh, thank so you. I'm gonna go around. He's busy because it's it's a life, oh, a life real. Okay. Thank you. So, so let's go. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. I have a question. Yes. I have a JK and its brakes are really horrible for 37s. Okay. Why should I choose this product, you think? Uh, so, the main reason to choose this product is uh, this is a world first. It's a 48 curved vein rotor. Look so, at the size of water water compared to this thing. Okay, yeah, go ahead. So, it's a 13.7 inch, but what's important is 48 curved veins. So, it's going to be like a centrifugal pump, it's going to suck the air in and then push it over. The Instead second thing, of having holes at the front, there's no slots. No, so uh, the, sl the, the holes are mainly for degassing. The, the reason you got the, the curved vein is for the air to come in, because the only way to cool a brake system is air flowing over it. Absolutely. And then if you have a look here, everything is temperature measured. So you can see exactly what temperature your brakes have run to. I see. So, and that's really important when you have to choose what brake pad you're going to use and what compound. And then this is the caliper for for the for the Jeep. It, <laughs> it's four times like, bigger. Mine is like yeah, this it, much of it. And you look how light it is. Um, it's very light compared to a, a big metal, you know, piece. Go ahead. So and then you have this big bridge over the top. So it stops the uh, caliper wanting to split itself open under hydraulic pressure. Temperature measuring. So you know exactly what temperature your calipers run to. We bolt from the back. So we give you as much wheel clearance as possible. As you can see all the wheel clearance over here. Stainless steel pistons, not aluminum. So that transfers heat slower towards the brake fluid. Internal wiper seal protecting your pressure seal. So you don't have the rubber boot that's gonna burn away. And then all that muck's gonna go in. So we protect the pressure seal internally. Beautiful. Beautiful. All made out of billet aluminum. Comes in a kit, left wheel, right wheel, everything packaged in. Excellent. Here's my... Thank, Thank you, very, you much. very much. May I have your business card yes, also? Yes, my card. Yeah, and then I leave you one too. If you get a chance, subscribe. 
Great. All right, thank you All very right, much. I appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy the show. Cheers. Yeah, likewise. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Uh, all right, I think it's been an hour that I'm uh, uh, streaming for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna just stop for right now, just to enjoy a little bit with my kid and my doggy there all into attention in this room. Thank you very much for following, and like I always said, subscribe and hit the like button or dislike button twice. Thank you.